Hey, I'm Natalia, one of the team members at the New Zealand Math Olympiad Student Association. Wow, that's a mouthful. So we like to call ourselves NZ Mosa. I thought I'd start a little web series about some cool things in Olympiad math. So without further ado, this is the pilot video proudly brought to you by NZ Mosa. Today let's talk about circles. I mean, we all know what circles look like, right? There's a center and then this line that kind of circles around it. In this case, it kind of looks like a potato, but you get what I'm talking about. I used to use circles to draw flowers with, you know, you just do the loopy things around the side and draw a little stem and yay. But today we're not going to talk about circles in that way, which is kind of sad. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this really, really cool property that circles have. So I'm starting with a circle with center O, I'm just going to draw an orange line and this other green line at the bottom. And I'll explain that in a second. We'll just label the diagram so it's easier to explain. So my orange line represents an angle coming from arc AC meeting the circumference at B. And my green line is the same thing, but it meets the center at O. So the cool thing is that this angle I'm drawing in here is actually double this angle up here that I'm drawing in. In other words, angle AOC equals two times angle ABC. Has your jaw dropped to the ground yet? I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? Does your mind blow on like mine is? By any chance? Possibly? Maybe? Anyway, back to work. So, looking at our diagram, how can we prove this? I mean, we know that OA is the radius and OC is the radius, why don't we draw in OB as the radius? Because then we know that OA equals OB equals OC because they're all the radius of the circle, right? So, what does that mean about this blue angle down here? Well, first let's give it a name. I say, Bob? Maybe? So, Bob down here is part of an isosceles triangle, which means that this angle up here is also Bob, right? Okay, now let's look at the other side. What about this angle down here? Let's call it alpha. That's usually what we call angles, really. That means that, well, because I've got an isosceles triangle again, this angle up here is also alpha. Now what about this one here? We know that the three angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees. And in this triangle, we see that this angle must equal 180 minus 2 alpha. And then with the other side, we see that that angle equals 180 minus 2 times Bob. Right? So far, so good. Now, what about this brown angle down here? Well, we know that the three angles around O must sum to 360 degrees. So this brown angle is just 360 degrees minus my 180 minus 2 times Bob. Then minus my 180 minus 2 alpha. Yeah? With some magic and speedy simplification that comes out to be 2 times Bob plus 2 times alpha, or 2 times, bracket, bob plus alpha. Okay, so what about this brown angle at the top? Angle A, B, C. Well, we know that equals bob plus alpha, right? And so we've proved that angle A, O, C equals 2 times angle A, B, C. Hurrah, we did it! How great does that feel? Now, this actually works for all different configurations. So the one that we just did, and then some other weird ones. But the cool thing is that it all works for every single case. And you can do this all in your spare time. I mean, it doesn't take long. You just use exactly the same method as we just did. So I guess this concludes our first video. We really welcome feedback. Tell us how we're doing, or tell us to actually do something. Anyway, until next time, see you later!